Anna Sale, let's talk about hard things, death, sex, money, and other difficult conversations. In a world where traditional structures and institutions no longer adequately guide us through life's challenges, Let's Talk About Hard Things by Anna Sale teaches us the art of engaging in difficult conversations. Tackling a wide range of topics such as death, sex, money, and identity, Sale emphasizes the importance of open communication in fostering stronger relationships, trust, and personal growth. By shedding light on effective ways to approach and navigate these tough discussions, this book summary offers valuable insights for readers seeking to improve their interpersonal skills and enhance their understanding of themselves and those around them. The Power of Difficult Conversations In today's society, people are becoming less reliant on traditional structures and institutions for support during challenging times. This has led to individuals developing their strategies for dealing with adversity. One proven approach is to have open and honest conversations with loved ones. Despite the potential for conversations to go wrong, initiating and navigating tricky topics can help solidify relationships, strengthen bonds, and garner support. When broaching sensitive subjects, it is essential to be clear about your objectives, use non-confrontational language, and create a safe space for discussing emotions. Listening with an open mind, taking pauses when needed, and reiterating the reasons for initiating the talk can lead to positive outcomes. While difficult conversations may not resolve every issue, they can foster intimacy, promote growth, and prevent relationships from faltering. Comforting words for the bereaved. Knowing how to comfort someone who is grieving can be daunting, but showing that you care is the essential point of discussing death, illness, and dying. It is crucial to grieve with the bereaved, express love, and share memories without minimizing their loss or making assumptions about how they feel. Candid conversations about medical decisions and end-of-life care help both patients and their loved ones to pre-grieve. Sharing memories with the dying and memorializing those who have passed create lasting and precious memories that thwart isolation and loneliness while honoring your history with them. Talking about sex Open communication about sex and intimacy is possible only when there is trust between partners. It requires you to put your needs into words while also listening to your partner's needs. Although it's emotionally risky, talking about sex openly brings problems into the open and provides a chance to work through conflict. Conversations about sex are influenced by your self-image, moral standards, and personal history. Recent years have seen a broader acceptance of a range of types of romantic relationships, sexual pairings, and family dynamics. With the evolution of attitudes toward sex and romance, individuals are at liberty to create their own definitions of sex and partnership. To talk candidly about sex, you must feel safe. Starting with a question like, what are you into, borrowed from LGBT culture can prompt a conversation about what each person wants and expects in the relationship. It also allows partners to reveal any past hurts and their lasting effects. Being understanding and supportive of each other enables partners to articulate what feels safe during sex. Talking about money. Money is a complex topic that affects our self-worth, social standing, and future options. Talking openly and honestly about finance is crucial for personal and professional relationships. Financial psychologist Brad Klontz proposes four personality types, money vigilance, money worship, money avoidance, and money status, which determine our attitude towards money and financial choices. Talking about money candidly helps in identifying and addressing financial issues and shedding emotional baggage. Conversations about money can also highlight systemic forces that affect our financial position, such as government policies, economic trends, and industry practices. Being open about financial realities with friends and colleagues helps in ensuring fair payment and discovering new opportunities. Being transparent about financial struggles and accepting help from others can create a support network that pays it forward. However, Talking about money can also stir up jealousy and resentment when confronted with other people's advantages. 
accepting that privilege, network, and opportunity are not equally shared and being open to diverse perspectives can help in developing a better understanding of financial realities. Navigating hard talks with family. Families can provide love and support, but conflicts can also arise, leading to resentment and hurt. Hard conversations with family members can be daunting as family dynamics resist change and past offenses linger. It is crucial to find the right time for these conversations. Learning how to speak as an adult rather than approaching the problem from an old or familial perspective is key to resolving conflicts and moving forward. Family relationships can evolve and establish new boundaries through open communication and incremental conversations. Sharing family experiences and seeing family members as mature individuals can help bring understanding and acceptance, allowing for growth and change. Understanding Identity Conversations Attorney Liam Lowry and Native American Anpo Koa Win are examples of individuals who approach identity conversations with caution but openness. These dialogues get to the heart of how you view yourself and others while understanding someone else's distinct perception of a shared reality. Reframing identity talks to create space for differences allows participants to find common ground and feel a sense of connection. These talks magnify power imbalances, unfairness, and systemic discrimination that may make people in normative categories feel guilty or culpable. However, discovering people's family histories and sharing personal histories can provide a way to move beyond stereotypes and discard assumptions. Identity-based power and privilege or oppression and disadvantage should be seen as built-in sociological systems that are not about an individual person's niceness. The goal is to create a feeling of connection or at least a sense of peace with the distance that remains for marginalized groups. Throughout Let's Talk About Hard Things, we learn that engaging in difficult conversations is essential in today's increasingly disconnected world. Such discussions, revolving around death, sex, money, family dynamics, and identity, hold the key to building stronger connections, expressing love, and gaining support. Though not every conflict can be resolved, these conversations are a chance to foster greater empathy and understanding. By being mindful of our approach, objectives, and the emotions at play, we can create lasting positive changes in our relationships and personal lives. As we take these lessons to heart, we become better equipped to embrace the complexities of the human experience and create deeper connections with the people who matter most to us.